She's feeling down. Wait, oh, we're going oh, down. Oh, oh. oh Sarah? Can we get some, like, water? Yeah, I guess we want. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, that's that. <clears throat> Andy and Jana, by the power vested in me. She's feeling down. Wait, oh, we're going down. Oh, oh, oh. Sarah? Can we get some, like, water? Yeah, I guess we want. Sarah? Get some help. Get some water. <laughs> you good, sir? Take some water. Hey guys, I want to take some time to point out the importance of having proper shade at your guys' venue, especially when you have older people hanging out. As you just saw, we had a bridesmaid that passed out. It's really important to have a shaded area, water stations, so stuff like this doesn't happen on a hot, sunny day. Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. Today we're doing a wedding at the Oregon Golf Club, June 1st. Come over this way, I'll show you what we're working with today. Um, this is gonna be our uh, outdoor ceremony site. We're gonna keep everybody inside um, beforehand. Right before the ceremony, we'll bring everybody out. Once the ceremony is done, we're gonna go up here and do a cocktail setup. Well, cocktails going on, the bride and groom are off taking their picture, signing their marriage license. They'll have drinks and hors d'oeuvres up there. Once that's done, we're gonna take them inside to the reception, which is gonna be inside this white tent. So right now, guests are just kind of starting getting here. They're going to drop off the gifts inside the tent, but they're gonna be waiting up here until the ceremony starts, and then some people are gonna be waiting inside where it's a little bit cooler. Uh, but right now, I'll show you what our ceremony setup looks like. All right, so this is our little ceremony setup. We have a lapel mic for the groom. We got a lapel mic for the minister. Um, later we bring out, we also have a wireless microphone as a backup in case I need to make any announcements. And then once the ceremony is done, then we'll take this setup and we're gonna do a cocktail setup. We already have another speaker over there. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, the other can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. I, Andy. I, Andy. Choose you, Jana. Choose you, Jana. To be my wife. To be my wife. To laugh with in times of joy. To laugh with in times of joy. And comfort in times of sorrow. And comfort in times of sorrow. Do you take Jana as your wife and pledge to stay faithfully by her side in love so long as you both shall live? I do. Andy, you may kiss your bride. All right, so we just got done with the ceremony. We have people coming in for the cocktail hour. We're gonna do the grand entrance through these doors. And later on, we're gonna bring all the lights down. Come with me, let me show you something we're doing in this room. So once we get the dance party going, we're gonna bring down the overall house lights, but they only have like these three other outer lights. So it gets really dark in this area. So if you see, we have these two spotlights set up to spotlight the dance floor and it's gonna make the dance floor look really good. They also have a videographer, so that's gonna make his job look good. The pictures are gonna look really good. So by having these two spotlights on the dance floor, it lights up just the dance floor because we have to bring these overall house lights down. It's really critical to make sure that your room is lit properly for your wedding. It's hard for the videographer, it's hard for people to see. And so it's a balance between the house lights coming down so it's not too bright, nobody wants to dance, and making the dance floor look good. So that's one thing that we try to focus on. Um, after cocktail hour is done, we're gonna set two speakers, one over here, and then we're also gonna put uh, two speakers over here and they're wireless so we don't have to run cords. If you look over here, the people that are sitting right here, the speakers gonna be really loud if I have to get the sound to go all the way back there. By having those speakers in the back, I don't have to turn up the volume as high. It just makes a pleasant experience for everybody in here. All right, so we got everybody in our reception area getting ready for the grand entrance. Got everybody in there, they got drinks, they're sitting down. We're gonna go get with the bride and groom, find out how they wanna be introduced so we do not mess up their name so it's properly 
pronounced. We're gonna bring everybody in and then we're gonna dismiss people for dinner. Before I do the grand entrance, I make sure the catering company has their food at the table. The photographers are where they need to be. If there's a videographer, he needs to, he knows where he needs to be so we can bring everybody in, everybody can get the stuff that they need. Once that's done, then I will go around to dismiss people by table. So let's go find the bride and groom, see how they wanna be introduced. Everybody's ready? We're good. I got food at your guys' table. What's that? What door do you want to go through? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here and out in that door. I got your photographers and videographers. They're all where they need to be so they know that you're coming through there. So when you guys go through those doors, I think somebody's gonna open them up for you. Just put your hands up, walk in, and then go to the dance floor and do a little dance. And that way it'll give enough time for your photographers to get your stuff for all your pictures. Okay. Like a fun and dance or like a yeah, just, what I, just hands up in the air cheering. Just enough to get some pictures and food is already at your guys' table. Oh, perfect. So I made sure that that was taken care of. I will have somebody point at you to walk out here, but when I see you start turning, that's when I'll start playing the music and then I'll say your name right as you guys walk in. Okay. Cool. So it's a lot of buying coordination, making sure everybody knows where they need to be. Can we please have everybody please stand up for the first time? Mr. and Mrs. Marvitz. VFB heard the nightlife, lost life with that Remo. So everybody can find their seats. I will be coming around to dismiss you guys by table. Dinner is now ready. We're gonna let the wedding party go first. The wedding party can get up and grab some food for dinner. And I'll be around shortly to dismiss you guys for dinner. Dinner is now ready. All right, so everybody's out there finishing dinner. We're gonna go to get the bride, the groom, go up the best man and the matron of honor, and then the parents are gonna be speaking. A lot of times people like to hold the microphone down here. Nobody can hear what's going on. So we coach them to hold the microphone up here. We also put a piece of tape on the ground so they don't move, so their dad's not walking off this way, trying to walk over there to talk. If something happens to this microphone, we also have a second microphone behind the DJ booth so we can go swap that out. Haven't really had to do that in a long time, but we have that as a backup plan. So it really helps going forward. If we need to jump on the microphone, tell people who's gonna step up next, we can do that. We also put tape on the ground so they do not move. And that way the photographer doesn't have to chase them around and they're not looking all over the place. We also communicate with the photographer, find out where they want us to put them so that way they're not looking at the bride and groom, then looking the other way at all the guests. So here in about five minutes, we're gonna be doing the toasts and speeches. Once that's done, we'll go into the cutting of the cake. And tonight we're doing a special game called the shoe game. Well, thanks you guys for definitely being here. The party's just getting started. I just wanna thank first uh, Rob and Leanne uh, for everything they've gone above and beyond. Um, anything we ever expected. Uh, this place is beautiful and they've been uh, d uh, definitely incredible. So I just wanna give them another round of applause. So uh, yeah, like I said, we appreciate all uh, you guys being here. Uh, like I said, the party's just starting. Uh, Love you guys. So let's have fun, dance, and drink. All right, we're gonna play a little game with the bride and groom. It's called the shoe game. Read a bunch of questions. The bride thinks it's her, she's gonna put up her shoe. The groom thinks it's the bride. He's gonna put up her shoe and vice versa. Who is in charge in the relationship? You can tell which ones that it takes like no time to decide. Who is a better driver? Who's better at asking for directions? Let's see if we can get this one right. And who do you love most in the whole wide world? Let's give it up for the bride and groom one more time. So as soon as the bride and groom get their shoes put back on, we will remove the chairs and go into the first dance. 